The ACDP is extremely concerned about the impact that high levels of crime and lawlessness are having on the economy. This in addition to the personal trauma that victims of crime have to endure. We further strongly condemn attacks on foreign nationals that are abiding by the laws of the country. We have seen widespread burning of buses, businesses, trucks, and shops. This has correctly been described as an economic sabotage. We also see the negative impact that cable theft has had on our rail network, impacting commuters and rail freight. Poor economic growth and economic sabotage have contributed directly to the unacceptably high unemployment levels in the country. The deterrent to crime is the sure knowledge that the perpetrator will be arrested, successfully prosecuted, and sentenced to a lengthy period of imprisonment. Yet we see very few criminals being arrested for economic sabotage. Petrol bombing trucks, looting shops, stealing copper, copper cabling is happening almost on a daily basis. In addition, the risk of being mugged, stabbed, raped, or murdered also discourages business investors from investing in South Africa, as well as discouraging foreigners from visiting the country. The ACDP calls on the president and his team to work much harder to restore law and order in the country and to remove policy uncertainty that is one of the major obstacles to much needed investments. Government must ensure that South Africa becomes a friendly and attractive investment destination and create a climate conducive for job creation to the benefit of the unemployment in our country. And lastly, House Chair, I want to ask for forgiveness from God on behalf of the nation for the way South African citizens have behaved by attacking innocent foreign nationals. And secondly, I want to ask those who have been injured in the process to forgive South Africans because government has promised to do something about the attacks that have been taking place. They have promised to attack and to arrest all the perpetrators. And thirdly, I want to appeal to nations from which these victims have come from. We have heard some rumors that some are saying they are going to retaliate. And I want to say to them, please, because government has promised to deal with the perpetrators, let us be given a chance, let South Africa be given a chance so that together we can build the economy of the continent. And lastly, I want to appeal to my fellow church leaders and religious leaders in the country. All of us should be ambassadors of peace and ministers of reconciliation. And to all South Africans, may I remind you that many of those who are in the struggle, those who went abroad looking for refuge, they were looked after well. None of them were attacked. None of them were victimized. So let us reciprocate and treat foreigners among us Thank with you. respect and dignity. Thank you. Thank you. Honorable